Can you share a little bit about what you used on this project right. uh, and, you know, and, and what uh, led to your success today? We, we, the requirement for Marco Polo was we had to deliver it in 4K. Uh, Netflix is very progressive, and they wanted they wanted to have all their content in 4K, and uh, so which really narrowed down the choice of cameras to to uh, Sony uh, F55 or F50 65 mm -hmm. and the Red, and we chose to go with the Sony. Um, uh, we like we like the we like the sensor, we like the design of the camera, and. Uh, it was really the the, the no-brainer to, to, okay. to choose Sony for this project. Uh, uh, also, we knew that uh, we were going to have to capture a lot of high-speed photography because of the martial arts scenes. Yeah. Um, so that was the choice of camera. The choice of lenses, we tested uh, Romal Rekuba, the other uh, DP on the show, and myself. We tested many lenses. Mm -hmm. And we knew we were going to have to work a lot with the, with the flame and with candlelight because this is a 13th century show. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we were looking to which flare around the lenses and the halo, which lenses gave us uh, uh, the halo that we liked the most. That didn't look like it was shot through a, through, through a filter. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we, after all the tests, we, we chose uh, the Cook S5s. Okay. So that was that was the main reason. And uh, I guess, how do, you, how do you go about lighting decisions? Uh, obviously, is this all candlelight, or is it, you know, I mean, you're probably cheating a little bit. <laughs> well, of course, yes. There's a lot, a lot of cheating. Even though, even though uh, we were able to do entire on this show, we were able to do entire scenes lit entirely by available light, by, mm -hmm. by, by flames and by by, 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 by fire. Uh, you know, when you do a period show like this, uh, which is set in 13th century, you only have three different light sources. You have sunlight, you have moonlight, uh, and you have a flame. Yeah. So for us, it was basically to give the to unify the look the, of the book because it's a show with the multiple DPs. First thing we agreed on was what was going to be a color of all these sources. Mm. What, what so what's the color of the moonlight? What the moonlight looks looks like? And so we came up with a color palette first. And how do you work with the you know the director to in pre-production to strategize for how you're going to go uh, go about you know, capturing what you inevitably did. Well, working TV is tough for that reason, because you don't get a lot of prep. Uh, Marco Polo was different because it's one of the shows that use multiple DPs, so one DP is always prepping. So I had a little bit of a chance to prep with the director. Um, uh, not nearly, not, not as, even as, as close as what you would get for, for, on a feature. Uh, but what I really is most important is just to get to know the director yeah. personally, you know, to, to see what what they like and to watch films together, to bring yeah. to, to to find the the, the, the references that uh, you, you both like, and to find out the, about each other's taste. Um, once you get to know each other, things start happening naturally. And uh, what's next for you? Um, <clears throat> The next for me is to go back home to New York, unpack my bags. I haven't yeah. been home in two years. Oh wow! I've been there, but they they here, they there, yeah. and uh, and just uh, wait for the right project. Great. Well, thanks and uh, congratulations once again. Thank you very much. Yeah.